a food versus fuel conflict, with more farmlands being diverted for biofuel production. However, this biodiesel system in Kyoto recycles used cooking oil. We visited a newly opened plant for a look into the future of the recycling business, which could kill two birds with one stone. The sticker next to the door of this Kyoto City bus shows that it runs on biodiesel fuel. Biodiesel fuel is becoming commonplace worldwide. Yet the fuel used for this bus isn't produced in the same way as it is overseas. In Germany, biodiesel fuel is made directly from rapeseed oil. But in Kyoto, Japan, another ingredient is used. This is a local restaurant that specializes in cooking various deep fried foods on skewers. From this kitchen shop, along with those of many other restaurants in the city, the main ingredient used to produce biodiesel fuel is reused. This restaurant produces approximately 30 liters of leftover oil in three days. The collection staff go to every shop on their route and collect the oil in metal cans. The amount of waste oil a single shop produces depends upon its size. The oil collected is transferred to the collection truck tank by hand. Restaurants use various kinds of cooking oils, such as soybean, rapeseed, sesame, sunflower, and so on. So how about if you mix them together? It works. Let's follow the collection truck further. Located here in Fushimi Ward in Kyoto City are the headquarters of Revo International, the company manufacturing biodiesel fuel. The company has been providing Kyoto City buses, as well as garbage collecting trucks, with biodiesel fuel since 2002. Once the collection truck comes back from its run, the oil is transferred into a larger tank at the plant. The fuel produced through the company's unique process is called sea fuel. In fact, the collection truck also runs on the same fuel. Here on the left is a bottle containing waste oil, and on the right, the finished product, biodiesel fuel. A liter of used oil produces 800 milliliters of fuel. The oil is murky due to food residues and impurities, but the fuel on the right is clear and a bright amber color. We visited one of the company's new plants, currently undergoing testing located in Uji City in the southern part of Kyoto Prefecture. This plant can produce up to 30,000 liters per day of biodiesel. Until now, the company has produced 5,000 liters for Kyoto City buses daily at its plants via collaboration with Kyoto City's recycling system. By adding methanol to the vegetable oil and using a catalyst, fatty acid methyl ester is produced, which becomes biodiesel. Biodiesel has been made in Japan for quite a long time now. However, impurities in the fuel cause damage to the exhaust pipes of vehicles. In this plant, the product is purified to a higher quality through a special process. From June, the plant will be operating 24 hours a day. Power-wise, the plant is self-sufficient. Production of biodiesel creates a byproduct called glycerin, which is used in a boiler to power the plant. This is the boiler system. It's very clean, emitting only minimal amounts of steam and carbon dioxide. Biodiesel fuel produces about a hundred times less sulfur oxide than regular gas oil. In Kyoto, 
annual CO2 emissions have been reduced by 4,000 tons. However, Kyoto City doesn't have enough used cooking oil. Therefore, it's necessary to obtain oil from other parts of Japan. Currently, of the 700 buses circulating Kyoto City, about 100 in the southern area use fuel containing 20% biodiesel. This amounts to 1.5 million litres per year, making Kyoto the biggest user of biodiesel in Japan. Biodiesel has other uses too. This is a delivery station of a cooperative in the southern part of Kyoto City. More than 10 trucks running only on biodiesel deliver groceries to households in the neighborhood. The drivers refuel their trucks themselves from fuel tanks on the premises. This co-op has been using biodiesel for over three years, so the drivers are familiar with the process. Kyoto City restaurateurs have become comfortable using biodiesel. But the collection of used vegetable oil from residences by the city still continues. Currently in Kyoto City, the oil consumption by industries is around 200,000 tons annually, compared with around 250,000 tons per household. It would be good if more household waste oil could be recycled, since even animal fat can be used. However, it's not that easy for people to recycle oil, so unfortunately only a small percentage is being used to produce biodiesel today. Japan is highly dependent on importing ingredients such as soybeans to make cooking oil. The business of collecting waste oil could be a solution to both food and petroleum issues facing the world today. It might only be the first step in the right direction, but it's definitely a big one. I wonder what the exhaust gas of these biodiesel vehicles smells like. Tempura, maybe? Well, the only way to find out is to go to Kyoto myself and take a ride on a biodiesel bus. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's Japan BizCast. Please do join us again for our next edition. I'll see you then. Goodbye.